time to play the game. Dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun. It's time to play the game. It's almost time to play WrestleMania 39. It's around the corner and apparently Triple H wants it to be a smaller game. He wants it to be a smaller show. He wants a smaller card. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling and it's being reported that Triple H is wanting to reduce the size of WrestleMania going forward. According to WrestlingNews.co Triple H, quote, wants a small card this year. I, I end the quote for WrestleMania 39. Uh, he's also spoke about the possibility of, in the future, taking the show back to just one night. And um, I kind of agree with that. And apparently there's going to be no big multi-man match this year, so there's going to be no throwaway battle royal. Apparently there is also a lot of wrestlers unhappy backstage about some of the slots being used on the show by legends and celebrities because everyone on the roster wants to be involved in the company's biggest show of the year in Los Angeles. Well, my thoughts to that is it's WrestleMania. Not everybody should be on the show. I actually prefer it when you had to be good, when you had to be relevant to make the WrestleMania show. What I hate about WrestleMania is over like the last, I think, fair to say maybe decade, maybe even longer, they've like they have created battle royals, they've created multi-man matches just to get everybody on the show. I don't like that. You should need to be good, in my opinion, to get on your show. Thoughts on? I, I completely agree. We see it every year. You get the women's, you get the men's battle royals, and every jobber is flung onto the show. And yeah, I, you know what? Triple H, I think, is out of sucked, but this is a good thing. Mania should be a small card. It should not be seven hours filled with 90% jobbers. And, and to the legend thing, it's WrestleMania goes Hollywood. Who wants to see Johnny Gargano? I know it's crazy. You want to see Stallone? You watch all the you what you watch the classic WrestleManias, right? That were maybe like three, three and a half hours, maybe like four hours at the longest. Like like so let's say like around WrestleMania twenty three or whatever, right? Twenty two. It's like they they, did, they seemed like long, but they didn't seem like they weren't overly long. And it's not like oh you, you didn't fit in what you needed. Exactly. Those, those shows were perfect. So now I don't. I, honestly, I don't know why there's a need for WrestleMania to be seven hours. There ain't. Pay per view should be three hours. WrestleMania four hours. Four hours is plenty. You have a couple of long matches, and that's it. Not every match needs to go twenty minutes. That's what I do fear though about Triple H. If he's going to shorten the matches, does that mean every match is going to be like half an hour? Could be, and to me, that is. That's not the way to go about it. Last year, there was 16 matches across the two nights, eight matches on each card. This year, there's projected 12 matches for WrestleMania. So, um, be interesting to see if we do get the 12 matches. If it is 12, then I imagine it will be six on night one, six on night two. The projected matches at the moment... You've obviously got Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Charlotte Flair, Rhea Ripley, Banky Abelier, Asuka. Uh, that's the confirmed matches. Then apparently we're getting Cena versus Fury. It looks like there will be women's tag team titles defending. You've got the WWE tag team titles, the Usos. Uh, you've got the Intercontinental Championship being defended. And then other matches that are being spoken about are Edge, Balor, Mysterio, Dominic. Brock, Omos, Wyatt, Lashley, and uh, last but not least, it looks like Seth Rollins and Logan Paul could be a thing. So there's 12 matches at the moment projected to happen. I think 12 would be plenty. Six matches on each night. I don't think you need any more than that. No, you don't. And even then, like six each and, night. And if Triple H does want to take it back to WrestleMania being one night, I'd be all for that. Yeah, but and then if you take it back to one night, you need to try and get from like twelve matches probably down to like nine. Nine. Yeah, do that. But that's what it should be. WrestleMania, right? It should be the best of the best. Not everybody should be on the WrestleMania card. Exactly. Oh, let's stick Ali on it and fucking Johnny Gargano. <laughs> or truth. Screw that. WrestleMania's for the best of the best. So yeah, 
For me, I like the fact that Triple H apparently wants to make the card smaller, and I like the fact that he wants to, in the future, take WrestleMania back to one night. Because for me, WrestleMania should be a one night show. Night one always feels like a throwaway, in my opinion now. And night one it just doesn't feel like WrestleMania. It feels like a pre-show to WrestleMania. No, you're right. Absolutely on the money. And then people will... I mean, let's be honest. Night one, main event isn't the main event. The main event's whatever finishes the WrestleMania weekend. So night two, main event is the main event. But we'll see. We'll see. That's apparently Triple H's current plan. So, yeah, guys, leave your comments down below. Do you want to see shorter cards? Uh, do you want to see WrestleMania go back to one night? Again, our only issue is if Triple H does make the cards shorter, then it could mean that the matches go longer. And that, I don't think, would be good. I mean, some matches deserve to go long, but other matches do not. So, yeah. Exactly. We do not need to see... A women's battle royal that will probably be on the show go an hour, damn it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it. This video ain't going an hour. Leave your comments down below. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.